Hi, this is Brad. I ordered an iPhone 12 Pro. I don't have it yet, but the case came today. And I had been wondering what the difference in size was between that and my current iPhone 8 Plus. So I thought I'd show you, and I thought I'd also show you this case because it seems like it's pretty decent and it's cheap too, which is good. But um, so I've got the iPhone 8 Plus turned on. And as you can see, uh, there's, you know, there's some, some bezel where you don't see the whole, uh, the whole screen and the 12 Pro and 12 are pretty much going to fill the whole screen. So what's interesting is even though this 8 Plus is only five and a half inch diameter, uh, the the 12 Pro and 12 will be, I believe it's 6.1, but it's still going to be in a smaller form factor. You can see it's, I don't know what that is, about a quarter of an inch, something like that, maybe uh, three eighths of an inch in size differential. So kind of nice that you can go with a bigger screen even yet the phone itself is smaller. So I wish I had the actual phone to show you, but I don't. But you can see the uh, size differential, and I should have the actual phone in a day or two, I think. Um, I'll also show you this case, because it's, it's, uh, it's, is it Spigen? Sorry about the uh, reflections there. But um, I think that's how you pronounce it. But they're pretty well known, you know, it's a good manufacturer. This thing's only about 12 bucks, I think 11.99 on Amazon. And um, they call this model, the um, what the hell do they call it it's the ultra hybrid okay you can see it right there ultra hybrid for iphone 6.1 is what they call it and uh, very inexpensive i think i'll probably link to it it might be one of those paid links that if you click on it i'd probably get a commission so i can't imagine what my commission would be on on an 11 or 12 dollar purchase probably not much but anyway hey what the heck you know if you want it buy it but um i'm going to kind of jiggle the camera a little bit just to pick up this case you know, there's a backing that I haven't peeled off it yet, but what's kind of cool about it is um, it's softer on the sides, but it's a little more rigid in the back. Um, it looks like it's pretty clear, you know, and uh, they say that a lot of these clear cases yellow, you know, sooner or later, right? Um, that might happen, but hell, it's 12 bucks, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you're buying an iPhone 12 and, hey, I'd like to have a case, well, you know, I would say maybe grab one of these. And, you know, you're not going to spend a lot of money. You might like it and you might want to keep it. But if something better comes along later, you know, I mean, you're probably not going to feel too terrible about ditching an 11 or $12 case if you need to. But it does seem nice. You know, again, that's a that's a good brand. So that's really all I've got for you. And, and the main thing, you know, was to show you the case and also to show you the size comparison between the two quote unquote phones. Obviously, you're not looking at a phone, but you're seeing something that will uh, that's representative of its size. That's all I've got. Um, I'll probably do another video once I get the thing. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the remarks section here on YouTube. Again, I will have a link if you are interested in this uh, inexpensive but relatively nice case. And I appreciate your time in watching it. Bye-bye.